Hello everyone. Today, let's solve the trigonometric question where the value of one trigonometric ratio is given to you and you have to find the values of the other ratios. So this is an important question. Let's see how to solve. So what is given to us is that 4 tan theta equals to 3. Now that means tan theta equals to how much? 3 by 4. Now using this value, I have to find sin theta and cos theta. So friends, let's first draw a right angle triangle. After all, trigonometry is about right angle triangle. Now one of the angles, let's take it as theta. Now what is the opposite side for this angle theta? Yes, this is the opposite side and this will be the adjacent side. And what is the hypotenuse? Yes, this is the hypotenuse. Now I know that tan theta is the opposite side upon the adjacent side. This we are all aware of. Now tan theta is also given as 3 by 4. That means the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side is 3 by 4. Now we want to know the actual value of the opposite side and the adjacent side. So friends let's multiply each of these numbers by a constant k. So let k be a constant. So whenever you want to convert ratio into actual numbers, always multiply the individual numbers by any constant k. So my opposite side will become 3k and what will be my adjacent side? Yes, it will be 4k. Now friends, let's also write what are sin theta and cos theta formula. So sin theta will be, can you tell me? Yes, the opposite upon the hypotenuse side and cos theta will be adjacent upon the hypotenuse side. So friends, did you see that we already know what is the opposite side? We know that opposite is 3k, adjacent is 4k. So if I somehow find the hypotenuse value also, I can easily find out sine theta and cos theta. So can you tell me which formula will help me to find out the hypotenuse? Yes, the Pythagoras theorem. So let's write it down. Can you recall what is the Pythagoras theorem? Yes. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, which is uh, here I have named it as opposite square, opposite side square and adjacent side square. Okay. Now what is the opposite side? I have taken it as 3k the whole square plus it will be 4k the whole square. Right. Now often students make this mistake. They just write it as 3k square and 4k square. Now these two are very different here you will not be squaring the 3 at all. So always remember friends to put the bracket write it as 3k the whole square. So when I open up the bracket I will get 9k square plus 16k square and what will this be? Yes it will be 25k square. Now this is my hypotenuse square not my hypotenuse. So what will be the hypotenuse? Yes it will be the positive square root of 25k square. Now why did I say positive? Positive because we are talking about side of a triangle friends and side can never be negative. That's why the hypotenuse is the positive square root of 25k square. Quickly tell me what will be square root of 25? 5 and square root of k square will be k. So that means my hypotenuse value is 5k. So that's a big problem solved. I know my hypotenuse value. So what will be sine theta? Yes, can you tell me? It will be the opposite side, 3k divided by 5k, which is 3 by 5. Also, what is cos theta? It will be adjacent, which is 4k divided by 5k. It will be 4 by 5. So, I finally know what is sin theta and cos theta. So, let's put it in that expression. This is the last part of the question. So 4 into sin theta will be, yes, 3 by 5. Be very careful while copying the uh, signs especially. Uh, here I'm getting 4 into 3 by 5 plus 4 by 5 minus 1. So my trigonometry part is done till here, friends. This is pure arithmetic. Be very careful while solving. I'm taking the LCM here. So I'll get 12 minus 4 plus 5. Okay, hope you are also doing the same thing. Here also I will get 12 plus 4 minus 5. So 12 minus 4 plus 5 will give me 13 by 5 divided by this will be 11 by 5. Okay, now let's reciprocate. That's the last step I'm going to do. 
Okay, so 5 and 5 gets cancelled and the answer is 13 by 11. That means the value of that expression is 13 by 11. So friends, I hope that you got a good idea of how to solve this type of question in trigonometry. If you have any other doubts or any other topic you want videos to be made, please let me know in the comment section below and do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to enjoy math and also leave your comments. So till we meet again, take care.